Actually, I grew up on the very countryside in the very south of Austria. This was in the late 70s and in the 80s. And I still remember my father telling me, you know what, boy, we need to make more out of less. And we need to do things uh, in the context of farming that are sustainable. So it was always this topic of uh, growing, uh, harvesting, and after harvesting, then planting again. Two-thirds of today's global CO2 emissions are made up by the creation and the generation and the use of energy, mostly fossil energy, and uh, to some degree then also electricity and electrical energy. Think about your home, the refrigerator, the TV set, the control equipment for your heating system and so on, so everything requires power. I grew up in a metropole in Iran. At school I was always good in math and physics and that was my natural tendency towards technology and it was so uncommon for girls. I didn't mind to swim against the tide. And I'm so happy and grateful that my um, family backed me up and supported me on that path. My job is to ensure we identify and focus on the right markets and develop and produce the right products, which at the end make life easier, safer and greener. Today, one of the key challenges of our time is climate change and protecting the planet. When I joined Infineon uh, at the age of 21, one of the things I started realizing is this huge potential of semiconductor technologies that can be used in order to uh, make energy efficiency and deal with a scarcity of resources in a meaningful manner. Infineon is an innovation leader in energy efficiency, one of which is making semiconductors to create renewable energies. The other one is making very energy efficient semiconductors that help saving electricity when consumption is happening. Semiconductor products can be designed in a way to control the power conversion in the most efficient way. Infineon makes chips which are a quarter of human hair thick. The less heat they produce, in other words, the more efficient they are, the less cooling requirement. And the more efficient they are, the more contribution to less CO2 emission and protection of our planet. This entire idea of sustainability, which has to do with after harvesting a tree, you need to plant another one, grow it in order to later harvest. That has a lot to do then also with running and innovating in technology because also here you have to make R&D or innovation decisions, bringing meaningful new products to the marketplace, driving such things forward, trying things out, taking risk, later taking calculated risk, and making it contribute to this idea of energy saving, energy efficiency. Semiconductor products are used almost everywhere in our daily lives, from energy generation, such as solar panels, to energy transmission or energy consumption, it's our privilege to have a direct impact in contribution to decarbonization of the world. Infineon strives for CO2 neutrality until 2030. Until 2025, we are about to reduce CO2 emissions by 70%. I believe in every challenging situation lies an opportunity. And the chance for us is to make a difference with our energy efficient products in reducing the greenhouse gas emissions. My passion for nature with my work in technology is very much comparable in that sense that these technologies today in Finland is working on truly make an impact with regards to the energy transition that needs to happen in order to decelerate climate change.